Welcome to Job Form. My name is George, and today's video is going to cover how to send SMS messages to your clients once they fill out the submission. This is really useful when you want to send out promotional codes or maybe a copy of the submission that they just provided or other random use cases that you might give it. So on this video, we're going to use Job Form. Twilio and Pavli Connect to accomplish this automation. So that means that automatically when someone fills out that submission, it's going to send out that text message to your client's phone. So this automation is going to be really useful for several use cases. Let's get started with this tutorial. Let's jump over to my desktop right now. All right, to get started with this tutorial, let's get started with a brand new form so you know how to start from zero. So let's go into create a form. We're going to start from scratch. And in this case, we'll select classic form, but you can also use card form. Now let's drag in some basic elements that we might need. So in this case, let's put in the name, the phone number, the email address, and some long text. Let's drag the long text to the top right here. Okay. And for the long text, we could say suggestions. Okay, and we'll use that box for that. Okay, so now we have a basic form filled out. So it's name, phone number, suggestions, and the email. You can add the elements that you might need. Okay, now, how are we going to complete this integration? Let's go into our settings, integrations. We're going to search for webhooks. Here it is. Let's go ahead and select it. And now we're going to head on over to our Pavli Connect platform. This is the, an automation platform that you can use. They have a generous free limits available in case you want to check it out. Let's go into create a flow. And in this case, we'll call it drop form SMS with Twilio. Let's go ahead and create it. All right. The first trigger is going to be dot form. So in this case, what we're telling it is that when someone fills out a submission on dot form, it's going to trigger this. The trigger event is going to be every time a new response is created. This is the webhook that we're going to need. So let's go ahead and copy it. Let's go back to job form and add it here on our webhook. Let's go complete integration. Okay, finish. And let's go ahead and fill it out one time. Okay. It's waiting for a response. So let's go ahead and fill this out one time. So in this case, I'll uh, there. I add my phone number, suggestions, no suggestions, and the email. We'll just add a test email. Submit. All right. Now we have submission. Let's go back to Pavli Connect. And it's waiting for that response. Once it grabs that information, it's going to display it here. There we go. It just grabbed the information that we just filled out. What does that mean? Now we have information that we can use to, to automate. So let's go ahead and close this. This is OK. The next thing that we want to do is the action. So now we have the trigger. When someone submits a form on dot form, it's the trigger. So what's going to happen? Let's choose the action. So in this case, we're going to use Twilio. OK, let's send out an SMS. OK, let's go ahead and connect. And we're going to connect to a brand new account, which is the information that we're going to need is account SID, authorization token and account SID again. So let's go into our Twilio dashboard. Okay, here it is. Here's our account SID. Let's go add it over here. And it's going to ask for it again. So let's type it in. And the authorization token, which is this one right here. Let's go ahead and copy it. Go back to Pavli and add it there. Let's save it. And it's going to connect to Twilio. All right. There we go. So the body of the SMS, that means that's the message that we're going to send out. This is where we can send out promotional codes, um, a copy of the submission that they just provided or any other random use case. Um, thank you. All right, that could be a use case. And we can add, even add one of our variables here. Thank you. And from the response that we receive on dot form, we're going to add the name. Okay, first name. We can also add the last name if we want. So we're going to say that. Oh, my bad. Thank you. And then the name. So again, let's search for the name, first name, the space. So it's going to say thank you, whatever the first name from the person who filled out the form. And it's going to say for submitting our form. Here is a 30% off coupon code. And well, actually, it's at 30. So we're going to say 30 there. 
30% discount coupon code. Now, the sender number. The sender number is the one we have um, on our Twilio account. So let's go ahead and find that number right here. You might have several numbers. So if you do, select the one that you have on Twilio that you want to use for this automation. And now the recipient number. So this is the number that when someone fills it out, it's gonna add it right here. Now, there's a little trick that we have to do right here. We need the number in this format, okay? So the right now, the format that it's coming from, let me show you, if I select it from our response, it's coming this way, okay? So there's parentheses, there's a space, and there's a, a dash, all right? So we need to remove these to for it to work, okay? How are we going to do this? There's two ways that we can do it. The easiest way would be to remove these back on JotForm. So let's go back to JotForm, go to our builder. This is our phone number section. Let's go into properties, options, and we can remove the way it's it, it, it inputs the mask. So if I remove these the spaces and the dash, it's gonna look this way. Now you might not like how that looks, but this would be the easiest way for it for the automation to work. That way you don't have to do other text formatting that we're going to do right now. But if that's easier for you, then that could work. Let's keep it the way it was. Again, let's go back. Let's keep it the way it was. All right, and the space, and there's a dash there. Okay, so that's the original one. I'm going to show you how to do this having that, okay, without having to move that option. So let's go to Pally Connect. And before this automation, let's go ahead and save it. Okay, we need to add some text formatting to this. So let's go ahead and add one before the Twilio action. So we're gonna type in text formatter. So let's click on text formatter. And what we're going to do is replace text. That way we are formatting that text to work with the next integration, which is Twilio. So what text do we want to format? The phone number field. So let's choose the job form, new response. Let's choose the phone number. And what do we want to replace? Well, the characters that look like this. And in this case, we're replacing it with nothing. So we leave it blank. So let's save and test request. All right, now we receive the response, which is replacing this. We have the result without that first character. So let's go ahead and close this. And we're going to clone it because we have to remove more characters. Okay, let's go back to the second formatter. And remember, we don't want to format the same number, the same field that we have from JotForm. The format that we want to use is the one we previously worked with. So let's choose that one, search for it. Okay, and now we're going to replace the other character. Let's go ahead and test it. There we go, and we have this last character to remove. So let's close this really quickly, another clone. Again, we wanna use the field that we were working previously. So let's go ahead and read this one. It's number three, test result, and remove the next character. Save and test. And there we go. This is the way we want the phone number formatted. So let's close this. Now let's go back to Twilio to finish off the integration. And the phone number that we need is this format, okay? So we're gonna add a plus sign. That's gonna be added automatically every single time. And we're gonna grab the last formatted text, which is this one right there. Let's go ahead and save it, all right? And it should be good for our test. Now, let's go test out this integration. Let's go back to Jot Form. Let's open our form in a new tab. Let's fill it out. Let's go ahead and put a number that works. Suggestions, no suggestions. Email, we'll add a random email just for testing purposes. Let's go ahead and submit, and we should receive that text message right away. There we go, we just got it. Let me open it up. And here's the e the text that we just received, sending the, the thank you or hit, which is my variable that I just inputted for submitting our form. Here is a 30% off coupon. Okay, there's the message that we just received. Super fast and super easy. Now, what would happen if we want to delay that message and not receive it right away? Maybe you want to send out the coupon code at a date or late or in a couple of hours or minutes. Well, that is possible also. Let's go back into our, let's go back into the integration here and we'll add a delay before the Twilio action. So let's click on the plus sign right here. We can set a delay. 
okay? And we can delay for, we can use minutes, hours, days, or weeks. So for example, if you want to send this out, I don't know, two days after it has been submitted, that is possible, okay? We just input the value there for two days because we selected delay unit. We can save it. And now before that action of sending out the Twilio message, it's gonna delay it for two days. Or there's another thing that you could do. For example, you send that message right away, but we can send a follow-up message with a delay. So for example, every time that someone submits it, it's gonna send out that message right away with the coupon code, and we can send out a second message with something else. For example, we can say two more days, oops, two. There we go, save, and we can send another Twilio SMS, okay? What we're doing now is that after two days from receiving the first message, we're giving out another message. That could be another coupon code, a random number, a giveaway, something that you want to provide after a certain amount of days, and that is possible with this automation. But there you go. That is how you could send SMS messages to your clients once they filled out the submission form on JobForm. We thank you all for watching, and we'll see you on our next tutorials.